But you know, I believe that the Lord has given me a word for us to encourage us. It's just an, a word of encouragement, a word that is going to inspire us to seek Him above all other things. And you know, um, there's a scripture in Matthew 25. I'm just going to read it. It's a very well-known scripture about the ten virgins. It says, At that time the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones took their lamps but did not take any oil with them. The wise, however, took oil in jars along with their lamps. The bridegroom was a long time in coming and they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight the cry rang out, Here's the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all the virgins woke up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, our lamps are going out. No, they replied, There may not be enough for both of us and you instead go to those who sell oil and buy some for yourselves. But while they were on their way to buy the oil, the bridegroom arrived. The virgins who were ready went in with him to the wedding banquet and the door was shut. Later, the others also came and said, Sir, sir, open the door for us. But he replied, I tell you the truth, I don't know you, therefore keep watch because you do not know the day or the hour. And just another scripture from Exodus. And this is the scripture that I really want to base what I, what, you know, what I feel the Lord has put on my heart. But it says in Exodus 27 and verse 20, Command the Israelites to bring you the pure oil of pressed olives for the lamp, so that the lamps may keep burning. In the tent of meeting outside the curtain that is in front of the testimony, Aaron and his sons are to keep the lamps burning before the Lord from evening till morning. This is to be a lasting ordinance among the Israelites for the generations to come. And you know, that's the word that I feel that the Lord has placed on my heart. Are we a people who want to be continually burning? Are we a generation of believers who want the lamp to never go out? Because you know in that story of the ten virgins there was five wise and there was five foolish. I don't know about you but I want to be one of the wise ones. I don't just want to have a little bit of oil. I want to have jars full. I want to have a storehouse full of oil. Because I want to keep burning. I want to burn as Leonard Ravenhill says. You know God won't die in you. You'll burn till you die. And I want to burn until that day. I want the fire inside of me to be so bright that when people see me, they know that I'm different. They know that I'm carrying something of the pure oil that God has asked the the people of God to bring to the lamps. You know, we know that the oil is a representation of the Holy Spirit. And so he can't be impure. But the vessel that he's carried in That's our responsibility. That we are a pure and a holy vessel to carry that pure oil. So that when we come into the lamp and we know that the church is the lampstand and we come and we bring that that pure oil as tonight we've come into that place of worship and that pure offering unto God and that oil that has just been pouring out in us and through us and upon us comes and it allows this lampstand to burn brightly that when people walk into this place, they know that God is here. It's not a God they need to fear. It's a loving God. A God who wants to embrace. A God who wants to pull near, to heal, to deliver, to set free, to give purpose and destiny to. You know, in the Psalms it says, take oil to make your face shine. I love that. Shiny faces, you know, shiny happy people, you know the song? You know, we were speaking about it in uh, the centre this week and we were looking at Moses and how, you know, Moses had to veil his face when he was up on the mountain of the Lord and he came down and he had to put a veil because the people couldn't look at him because his face was so shining with the glory of God that people, it was offensive to people. You know, the glory of God, it was an offence to them. And so they have to cover his face. But now 
we're in the New Testament and you know we, we come with unveiled faces the glory of God to be seen, to be shown, to be shining in and through us you know I, I love Bob Gladstone some of you might know of him, some of you might not but he preaches a sermon and in his sermon he says face to face and face in face and he's speaking of the new covenant how we come and like Moses we come and we seek God on a one to one I'm coming to seek your face and we come into that place where it says that Moses spoke to him face to face but how now we are the Jesus people and now it's face in face now we are the face of the Spirit. Now we shine the glory of God. That wherever we go, we're bringing the presence. We're bringing the glory of God. And it's available for whoever will seek Him out. For whoever. You know, Psalm 24 says, Lord, give me clean hands and a pure heart. Don't let me lift my soul up to vanity or sway deceitfully. Let me be pure, Lord. That's what it's saying. And it says, such is a generation who seek your face, O God of, Je- of Jacob. Are we going to be those who seek his face? Because we know God has been moving powerfully. God has been moving across our nation. He's been pouring out his spirit. He's been reigning on the churches. But it's only a foretaste of what's to come. We know that it's just a little glimpse. God is just wetting our appetites. He's saying this is what it's going to be like. This is just a little taste, but it's going to be even more glorious. And I believe that in this season now, there's a deeper preparation. We've had a taste. We've been given that expectancy. But now God wants to prepare us even deeper so that we can be those who are prepared to withhold what God is going to do in our generation and what he's bringing. You know, it's, it's a privileged position that we're in to be able to come and seek the face of God. We're a privileged people. 